Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I at this point invite to give his remarks the chairman of the occasion, Sir OCJ Okocha, MFR, SAN, DSSRS, JP. Your Excellency, this is um, the Nwawike, Commander of the Order of the Niger. Grand Service Star of River State Power of Sports Africa, the Governor of River State, and Your Excellency, the wife of the Governor, the Honorable Justice Eberechi Suzette Wike. Our celebrant, and of course, our former Governor. It's a joint celebration because uh, when we take glory, our wives take glory. So when our wives take glory, we too, as their husbands, will humbly take glory too. Sir Dr. Peter Otunaya Odili and Honorable Justice Mary Peter Odili, JSC retired. Leonard justices of the Supreme Court who are here present. I had to look at the order of precedence and I see that they are all high up there. My lords, serving and retire, I pay my respects. Your Excellencies, the governors of the states that are here present, you have all been individually named. And I need not go through that rigor again. You are all very welcome. Your Royal Majesties and Royal Highnesses, traditional rulers and chiefs here present. And I recognize in particular His Majesty King Jaja of Opobo, Yamanabo of Opobo and the chairman of the River State Traditional Rulers Council and uh, His Majesty, retired Justice of the Supreme Court, Justice Sidibage, the Air Mayor of Lafayette and chairman of the Nasarawa State Traditional Rulers Council. Respected chiefs, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, not forgetting all their lordships of various jurisdictions that are here, including the chief judges, particularly of Rivers and Bielsa states, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is a great honor for me to be the chairman at this occasion. It was an invitation which I relished because of my long relationship with the Odili family. Our governor, Sir Dr. Peter, gave us prominence in his administration. And I'll tell you all a joke. Gave my wife prominence in her business. Whenever the governor was visiting anywhere, whoever was the host would contact my wife to say the only cake that we hear Sir Dr. Peter Odili eats is your cake. The only food he eats outside his house is your food. So Sir Dr. Peter, thank you very much, thank you. It has been the same too with this administration. As you know, if you go to government house and my wife has not catered there, our governor will not eat the food, neither will his wife. So thank you, Your Excellency, Governor Nyesom Wike. Distinguished personages here present, I was accused of being conspicuously absent at several of the ceremonies for my Lord's retirement, which started on Thursday the 12th, the exact day of her birthday and the day of her retirement from the Supreme Court bench. I previously made an apology to His Excellency Sir Dr. Peter Dilley and my Lord, and I've repeated that apology. But to you all who noticed my conspicuous absence, I also apologize. I had some pressing engagement and appointment for a visa interview which I could not avoid on Thursday the 12th 
which continued until Friday the 13th and then on 14th I had to attend the Ateda Peter Sides daughter's wedding. So I apologize to His Excellency and to my Lord. You will spare me one minute or two because I have to recount a few of the things that make me very happy to be here today. The Odilis, as I have said, ruled the state from 1999 to 2007. Prior to that, the Odilis' father had taken me as an acolyte in the profession. And when I ran to be president of the Nigerian Bar Association, he even accompanied me on some campaign trips. And when I became president of the Bar Association, he endeavored to attend every conference, every national executive meeting of the Nigerian Bar Association. It was a marvel because elderly gentleman, as he was, incidentally, he wrote an agreement between my father and my mother in the early 60s when we were supposed to be arranging how my father's property in Enugu would be disposed. Chief BSC in Zengwa wrote that agreement and transferred that house to my mother without my father losing title. You know, equally men don't like to lose titles to their land. And then I have said, supported my bid to be president of the Bar Association. And then I've said the relationship between the Odilis and I have been very marvelous. You know, it is only one court I go to in River States, when she was a high court judge here, that I'm addressed as my S-A-N. No other judge ever called me my S-A-N. In the Supreme Court, they would address me OCJ. On one occasion in our court, some lawyers tried to say OCJ is a chief. I wasn't dead, but I am now. And I said, my Lord, I'm not a chief. What are you then? I said, my Lord, I'm a chief son. And since then, she started calling me chief son. So here I present chief son OCJ Okocha. Now, on a serious note, my Lord, that we are celebrating today at this book presentation ceremony. In some other place I have read, the tongue of good reports has been heard in her favor. And all of you have listened to and witnessed the several written, spoken, published encomiums that have been poured on my Lord, the Honorable Justice Mary Peter Odile. It did not start today. Look at the booklet in your hands. First class, West African, first uh, grade one, West African school certificate. Second class upper honors, LLB, University of Nigeria. And I hear it was just two of them that made two one at that convocation ceremony at University of Nigeria in 1976. And then judge of the High Court of River State, well before then magistrate, justice of a court of appeal, and then ultimately justice of the Supreme Court. I was privileged to be a member of the Federal Judicial Service Commission when her name came up for appointment as Justice of the Court of Appeal. Smooth sailing. No objections whatsoever. I was also privileged to be a member of the National Judicial Council, NJC, when her name again came up for appointment as a Justice of the Supreme Court. Smooth sailing. But there was one funny objection. I don't know how some people had come up with the idea that, ah, no, no, no. Because the slots they said was for the Southeast Imo State. And I said, no, look at her CV 
signed by herself, and she stated clearly, state of origin, Imo, state of marriage, Rivers. But some people said, no, it was Rivers. I said, no, that is a document in respect of which the veracity cannot be challenged. And so she became a justice of the Supreme Court. And she served meritoriously, honorably, without any blemish on her character. And she has since bowed out on the 12th day of May, 2022. My Lord, let me also say here, congratulations on a very successful tenure. Congratulations. Well, let me return to my theme. We are here to present not just one book, but a few books. I believe there are five or six written in honor of my Lord, the Honorable Justice, Mary Ukego Peter Odili. It is an honor for me to be here, and I hope that you all who have come will recognize the significance of this ceremony where we have come to honor what we call merits and ability. Her life history is testimony to the faith and confidence we should repose in the girl child, the girl child, who all eventually transformed to be our mothers and our sisters. She has shown what a girl child determined and encouraged by her parents, her guardians for that matter, can do. And uh, I say again, to the memory of uh, Chief DSC Zengwa, that he encouraged her, not just her, encouraged all her brothers. Well, I know uh, her brother and then sisters. They have all become substantial and eminent citizens of this country. But today the glory is for my Lord. And I want to say again, my Lord, congratulations. Even I say, as I say, welcome to us all to this landmark and epoch-making celebration. I thank you all for listening, and may God bless us all. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.